In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a monthly theme church flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So you realize that beginning of every month, most of the churches has a theme for the month and sometimes you might want to put that onto a design to remind the members of the particular theme for the year. So in this video, that is a flyer that we are going to design. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using for this project. So you can download them if you want to practice. And in case you do, you can send it for review on my Instagram or on my Twitter. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the video and let's get designing. I'll be using Photoshop 2021 for this project, but any Photoshop should probably work out with this. Now, we are making this for social media, so we are going to go for a size that is very small. So, you're going to press Ctrl N to set any document type or any document size that you want. But I'm going to go for a 4 by 4 and then I'm going to make sure that my resolution is 300. Afterwards, I'll go ahead and click on create. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to establish the background. First things first, let's add a gradient. So to add a gradient, you come to the layer fill adjustment over here and you're going to select gradient. Now, if you are new to this, you're going to have different type of things, but you can click on here and then you can have a bunch of gradients that has already been provided by Photoshop for you. But I also set my own so I can go scroll down to the very bottom and then I'm going to use this gradient. If you want to use the same coordinate, this is the first coordinate and the other side of it is complete white. So you can go ahead and click OK after you've set this. At this point, you're going to make changes to the gradient. So we are going to first change the style. So you select the style and you choose gradient. Now you want this part to be at the outer layer. So you are going to reverse it. And then whilst this is selected, we are going to bring our cursor here and drag this up here a little bit. So we are kind of dragging the white in it. So you can drag it to anywhere you want. But we want to put it over here. And if you want as well, you can scale it up a bit, but I think this should work out fine for me. So you can also scale it to about 144, let's say 144 here. And then you can click OK when you are done. The next thing we want to do is we want to add our background element. So if you go to File, Place Embedded, you'll be able to bring in the elements that I've left in the description so you can download that. The first one that we're going to add is this background over here. So we are going to bring it and you're going to scale it up to the size that you want and you make sure that it is in the middle centered you're going to right click on it click on rasterize layer and then you can press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate this this is going to give you more option to blend in with the background that we are using so you can bring this down a little bit like that and then we go to the blend mode and we are going to set this to overlay once you set it to that you can add a layer mask to it so we come to the very down here and we click on add a layer mask now you're going to make sure that your foreground color is black and then you're going to choose your brush tool and you can brush off the parts that you don't want so something like this should be fine now this looks very quite pale so we are going to add or make one more duplicate to it so that it looks a bit more intense so to do that we are going to press ctrl j and then this is what we are going to have next up we go inside our, our resource again so place embedded and then we are going to bring this particular background also we are going to scale it up as well and bring it down here you can open it to the size that you want and then you can right click rasterize ctrl plus shift plus u to desaturate and then you can set that also to overlay once you have that you add your layer mask you choose your brush tool and then you can paint off these parts and then it blends in seamlessly on top of all of these we can add a curves to it and darken it a little bit so that it doesn't look that very whitish and once you're done with this you can select all of these and call it the background now you can go ahead and add a picture so you go to file place embedded i've already taken the background of this picture to make sure that the tutorial is fast if you want to know how to do this i have a tutorial i'll leave a link in the description 
so you are going to place your picture inside here nicely like that and then you make sure that you position it to exactly where and how you want the picture to be and now we can go ahead and add our test and our logos so the first one that we're going to add will be the logo so we go to our resource and then we are going to place our logo right over here you're going to scale it up to the size that you want and then you make sure that you press ctrl a and center it nicely like that i've already set up the test so we are going to use two fonts for this poppins and then bebas i'll leave links to download all of these in the description so first off we select our test and then we are going to make sure that this is set to poppins and then we are going to use poppins let's go for semi bold and we are going to have our test over here don't worry i've already type the test so i'm just going to be copying and pasting them so let's scale it up press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered once you have this you're going to right click go to the blending options and then we are going to add a gradient overlay so we select our gradient overlay and then i've already set the gradient as well so you can go and choose this one as well so this is the gradient that we're going to use this is the first hex code and of course the second one is going to be red so we don't want the reverse here so we're just going to uncheck the reverse and then we can go ahead and click ok now it is time to add the month that we are talking about so the name of the church the logo is there we make a duplicate ctrl j and then we are going to bring it slightly down here and then we are going to edit that to the month that we are talking about so that it depends on what you want to put out there so in this case we decided to go for March, the month of so something like that but you may also decide to go with something very simple let's say March, let's say theme for March, something like that you want to do with that so we are going to select the test tool again make sure that we check the toggle character over here and then we can open this up a little bit so we can space it out oh let's select all of that and space it out a little bit like that and then we are going to make sure that we clear the layer style so you right click and go to clear layer style in this case the layer style that we apply to the title it's not going to affect this particular test so we can bring it down here and we are good to go the next one is going to be the actual theme of the month so we can make a duplicate again so we're just going to duplicate this test right over here and then we can select the test and we are going to paste it right over there now for this font we are going to go for a font called bebas and we are going to use bebas bold so we can press ctrl t and then transform that as well so it is the actual theme so you have to make sure that it is quite bold so we can bring the pasta down a little bit like that so that we have space for this okay so what we're doing here and you realize that bebas actually has no lowercase so every font that you or everything that you type is going to be in uppercase so we are going to close up the spacing here slightly like that let's go a bit down 26 should be fine and then we can open it up press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and then we can push it up here like that now this looks good but we can make this even better so we are going to right click on this and we are going to clear the layer style so that we don't have any layer style on it to affect the next effect that we want to apply did i just drop a bad day? all right so we want to add a golden kind of a shiny golden texture to this test so on top of right on top of this test we are going to go into our resource and we can bring in the next element so we have this background golden wallpaper that i got from google so you can select that right on top of it you're going to right click and then you're going to hit on create clipping mask so we can bring it right over here and you can even transform it slightly we want most of the bottom part to show up so that darken part we can make it right over there and then we can right click on this rasterize press ctrl l and then we can actually level this down a little bit so that we have it more darkened to complement the background once you have this you can click ok and we are done with the test next up is going to be the past test name and then the location so at the left side we are going to place the past test name over there so we select our test tool and make sure that this is back to normal so minus 
40 should be fine and then we can place the pastor's name over there we select all of it and then we make sure that it is left aligned and you can leave it any color that you want but i think since we are going with kind of the brown type of things let's go a bit more brownish down here should be fine so we press ctrl t and we can nicely transform it and put it over here and now we're going to pick a rectangle to create a very small rectangle like this and then we can place it around the pastor's name like that you can even make sure that it's on the same line with the last name so something like this it should be fine we're going to make a duplicate of the name and then drag it to the right side over here and that is going to be the location so we can select the whole of the test and we are going to paste our location over there that is going to be center aligned and then we can push it over here and actually change this to medium i think it looks a bit bold so this location is going to go up a little bit and we are going to place the location icon on top of this so we go for the location icon we transform it neatly and then we simply place it on top of where we have our location now let's right click go to the blending options and then we are going to change this to the color brown so we are going to add a color overlay to it and you can choose the color brown from here the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a social media handles to it so on top of all of these we are going to add a slight rectangle something not too big something like this and that means we can push our location up a bit so that we have space for this particular one as well so let's select our rectangle to right click and go to the blending options and then we are going to add a gradient overlay to it so we pick the gradient overlay since we are going with a brown and kind of the the brown gold color we can pick a sample from it so i picked this color sample from it so this one right here so these are the hex codes in case you want to use the same thing the first one and this is going to be the second one and once you're done with it you click ok and then ok from here on top of this we're going to place the social media handles on it so we are going to just select medium poppins medium paste our social media handles and then we can change the color to white i press ctrl t to transform them and you make sure that they are well spaced out because we are going to add the social media icons to it so we can zoom in right here so we can make sure that this is a bit opened up and this is also opened up slightly and we have the icons in our resources so we go to file place embedded and then we can start adding the icons so we have twitter over here we are going to scale it down you make sure that it is nicely positioned you right click rasterize the layer right click again and then you go to the blending options and then you can add a color overlay to it of which we want the color white so that it can be very seen by everyone we're going to do the same thing for the rest of the icons so you go inside your file again at this point you can make sure that you use your guidelines over here to make sure that this the icons are on the same line so you can drag your guidelines neatly like that and then you make sure that you position your next icon so you can even zoom in more if you want to and then you can scale it down like that so all that you want to do is you want to make sure that this is also in line with it and that probably means that we may need some extra space but for the sake of this tutorial we can just handle this so you right click and rasterize this you hold alt and then you can drag and drop this effect onto the next icon as well and you can do the same thing for the facebook and once you're done with this you can just select uh, the test here and the icons and you can group that call it social media icons but the main reason for grouping it is just because you'd be able to center this nicely and then you'd also be able to make sure that you scale it up or down if you feel like this is too big for you and then we can get rid of our uh, guidelines as well now this still looks very bright so we can go back to our background over here and double click on the curves and then we can drag it down a little bit more something like this should be fine and the last thing that we're going to add to this will be some small elements the dove element so we go inside our resource and then we are going to bring in this dove is it dove or dove either way there is a oof 
so we are going to place it around here something like that in relation to the manifestation right over there and then we can leave this one over here bring it down slightly you make a duplicate and then you can send it to the side but this time around we don't want it to be that visible so we can go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then we can apply a bit of blur onto it and then we can make one more duplicate like that and drag it to this side that was very fast and simple right okay so yeah at this point if you have any other information or if you have any other thing you can add it to this particular design but in a nutshell this is how to create a very simple monthly team flyer for your church for yourself if you are the pastor or for your client i hope you found value in this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much manifesting don't forget to check out all the other videos that i've made on church flyers and and don't forget to like and share this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye